Hi viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something important, to share with all the tax enthusiasts, and business owners out there. In this video, we'll discuss, how to file VAT return in the UAE, using the Ameritax platform. We'll walk you through the entire process, step by step, from logging into Ameritax, to submitting your VAT return with ease. Whether you're a small business owner, a finance manager, or just someone looking to gain more knowledge on the topic, we've got you covered. But before we jump into the Ameritax platform, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our upcoming tax-related content. Let's get started. Step 1. Log into Ameritax portal. Go to www.tax.gov.ae and click on e-services tab. It will lead you to the Ameritax platform. You will need to reset your password before you can log into Ameritax for the first time. If you're not sure about how to reset the password, please check out our video on how to log in and reset the password. The video link is in the description below. Type your email address and password here. Type the security code, which is displayed on your right hand side and click login. Step 2. Fill and file the return. Once you log in, click on view. Now we are in the dashboard. Select the VAT tab from the menu. Select view all in my filing section. Here you can see information related to your VAT returns. Click on file to start filing a new VAT return for the selected period. Click on the checkbox to confirm that you have read and understood the instructions and guidelines. Click on start to proceed to file the VAT return. This section displays the filing period details based on the selected VAT return, like VAT return period, VAT return due date, etc. In this Ameritax platform, you can file the return in two ways. First, download the VAT return template, fill it out, upload the filled template and file the return. Or, as usual, file the VAT return online by filling amounts in the respective boxes. Let's check the first option. For that, click on download template. You can see the downloaded template here. Fill the amounts in the respective boxes and save the file. And once you've done that, upload the saved file. Click on Upload Filled Template. Select the saved file. Now you can see, as soon as you upload the template, all the amounts will fill in the respective boxes, the same as in the template. Now let's understand how to submit the return online. The VAT return is divided into three sections. The first section, is VAT on sales and all other outputs. Second, is VAT on expenses and all other inputs. And the last, is net VAT due section. In the first section, you can see box 1A, to 1G, there are 7 columns, which are for entering the value of standard rated supply, in each emirate. In box 1, type the standard rated supply, which is our emirate wise taxable sales, of that particular tax period. And in the next column, enter the VAT amount, which is 5% of the taxable amount. The adjustment column here, is only for recording any adjustments made to the output tax, due to claims for VAT bad debt relief, or real estate adjustments. For our demo, we'll use box 1A, to enter standard rated supply, and in the next column, enter the VAT amount, and type 0, in all other columns. After completing box number 1, we can move on to box number 2. Box number 2, this box is for any value of tax refunds, provided to tourists, 
under the tax refund for tourists scheme. The amounts in box number 2 will pre-populate it, from Planet Tax Free System. Click on View Details, to view the details received from Planet Tax Free System. Only businesses registered, and enrolled under the tax refunds for tourists scheme, should use this box. Box number 3, Supply Subject to Reverse Charge. Here you should declare the value of supplies, of goods and services received, which are subject to VAT, under the reverse charge mechanism. Disregard any imports of goods, which are subject to the reverse charge, if the import VAT, is separately reported in box number 6. The only circumstance, where a purchase of imported goods, should be reported in this box would be where the movement was not declared via UAE customs for some reason. Box number 4, Zero Rated Supply. The taxable person, must declare the value of supplies of goods and services, which are subject to VAT at 0%. This would include, exports of goods and services outside the UAE, as well as local supplies, such as certain educational and healthcare services. Only the net value of the supply is required to be declared in this box. Box number 5, Exempt Supplies. If you are a taxable person, and making supplies that are exempt from VAT, then you should declare the value of exempt supply made, in box number 5. Some examples, of what should be included in this box are Certain financial services, which are specified as exempt, under the VAT legislation. Supplies of residential buildings, through sale or lease, other than the ones subject to the zero rate of VAT. Supplies of bare land, and local passenger transport services. Same as in zero rated supplies, only the net value of the supply is required to be declared, in this box, since there is no VAT on the supply. Box number 6, Goods Imported into UAE. This box should pre-populate it, based on the data received from customs. This will include, all imports which have been declared through UAE customs. The respective output tax amount should also be pre-populated. You should ensure that, these values match the ones you declared in the import declaration submitted, during the tax period. If any import appears to have been excluded from this box, or incorrect, you can use box number 7, to make adjustments. Click on view details, to check the details. You can claim the input tax credit for such imports, by entering the same values in box number 10. Box number 7, Adjustments to Goods Imported into the UAE. You should use this box, only if the information that is pre-populated in box 6, regarding goods imported into the UAE, is incomplete or incorrect. In such cases, use this box to make adjustments accordingly. Box number 8 automatically calculates the total, of all of the above boxes. This concludes the first section, VAT on sales and all other output. Now let's move on to the next section, VAT on expenses, and all other inputs. Box 9, Standard Rated Expenses. Here you should declare the VAT, you have paid to your VAT registered suppliers, on purchases of goods or services, and all expenses, for business purposes, subject to the standard rate of VAT. In this box, you should declare only the value of standard rated expenses, on which you are entitled to recover input tax. In the recoverable VAT amount column, type only the VAT you are entitled to recover. In the adjustment column of box 9, there are three types of adjustments which should be included. 1. VAT debt relief adjustments, applicable if the input tax previously recovered on purchases, where you haven't paid the supplier, for more than 6 months after the due date. 2. Input tax apportionment annual adjustment, applicable to business, which makes both taxable and non-taxable supplies. 3. Capital Asset Scheme Adjustment, applicable to business with capital assets, which fall under the Capital Assets Scheme. Box number 10, Supplies Subject to Reverse Charge Provisions. Box 10 allows you to recover any VAT, you have paid as output tax, under the Reverse Charge Mechanism, which was declared in Boxes 3, 6, and 7 of the VAT return. If you are entitled to recover some or all of the VAT, under Reverse Charge Mechanism, you should include the full net value in the amount column, and recoverable VAT in the recoverable VAT amount column. Box number 11, is total of values declared in box 9, and 10. 
All of the information you have just entered is summarized in the final section. Mentioned as net VAT due. These sections are automatically populated, based on the details entered above. Box number 12, shows the total value of tax due for the period. Box number 13, shows total value of recoverable tax for the period. And box number 14, shows the payable tax for the period. Here, select yes, if you have applied the profit margin scheme, in respect of any supplies made during the period. Or else, click no. Step 3. Review the VAT return form, and submit. Once all the boxes are filled in, we can save the return, by clicking save as draft. Or select the next step button, to proceed to the next section. This section allows you to review VAT return, prior to submission. Here you can see, the taxable person's details, and your completed return. Edit option is available, if you want to edit the figures, before submitting. Here you can see, authorized signatory details. Click the checkbox, and click on save as draft, to save the return. Or click submit, to submit the VAT return. And that's it. You've successfully filed your VAT return on the Ameritax platform, ensuring compliance with UAE tax regulations. Make a note of the reference number for future references. Remember that tax laws and regulations can change, so it's always a good idea to stay updated with any updates or modifications to the process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more informative content. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.